The U.S. Department of Transportation, or USDOT, is working with state and local transportation agencies, vehicle and device manufacturers, and the public to test connected vehicle, or CV, technologies. These technologies will enable cars, buses, trucks, infrastructure, and smartphones to talk to one another. CVs are poised to transform how we travel, providing the potential for immediate benefits, including saving lives and improving mobility. In September 2015, the USDOT launched its CV pilot deployment program, sponsored by the Intelligent Transportation Systems Joint Program Office. Cooperative agreements were awarded to three agencies, New York City DOT, Tampa Hillsboro Expressway Authority, or THEA, and Wyoming DOT. While each CV pilot site set out to address their specific local needs, the sites also worked with the USDOT to develop interoperable CV devices and equipment that leverage industry standards. A major goal of the CV pilot program is for the connected vehicle devices and equipment to be interoperable, meaning that onboard units, or OBUs, are able to operate as designed anywhere in the country, regardless of origin. This interoperability includes interfacing with roadside units, or RSUs, from other manufacturers. Over a period of several months, the CV pilot sites worked with the USDOT to develop a plan to conduct an interoperability test. This test was held in the summer of 2018. The Turner Fairbank Highway Research Center provided six vehicles for the testing. Each vehicle was outfitted with an OBU from one of the pilot sites. In addition, RSUs from New York City and THEA were used to test vehicle to infrastructure or V2I interoperability. All devices were enrolled in a certificate management system to preserve privacy and facilitate trusted communication. The testing focused on the reception of over-the-air messages between vehicles, or V2V communications, and between vehicles and RSUs, or V2I communications. The test leveraged three V2V applications, forward collision warning, emergency electronic brake light, and intersection movement assist. The test also leveraged the V2I red light violation warning application. The forward collision warning application presents alerts to a driver to help avoid crashes into the rear end of vehicles ahead. The CV pilot sites demonstrated that devices from all vendors were able to receive messages from another site's device and trigger warnings. In addition, tests demonstrated that devices responded appropriately by not issuing warnings when the test vehicle approached another equipped vehicle in an adjacent lane. The Emergency Electronic Brake Light application alerts the driver to hard braking in the traffic stream ahead. The application provides the driver with additional time to look for and assess developing situations. The test demonstrated that OBUs from each of the sites can issue a warning to a driver based on a message broadcast from another site's device. The Intersection Movement Assist application warns the driver when it's not safe to enter an intersection. For example, when something is blocking the driver's view of opposing or crossing traffic. OBUs from each of the sites demonstrated that they can produce a warning to a driver based on a safety message from another site's device. Signal phase and timing messages and map messages are essential to all signalized intersection-related applications, including those that provide a red light violation warning to drivers. V2I tests were conducted to demonstrate that the OBUs from sites could receive these messages from other pilot sites' RSUs. THEA and New York City DOT devices were able to successfully produce red light violation warnings using the data received from the infrastructure. Over three days, more than 100 test runs were conducted. Test data were collected and sent to a secure area of the cloud, where it is available to support future research activities. Results showed successful message transfer between different site OBUs and with RSUs using multiple communications media. The interoperability test was a groundbreaking event. A test of this nature involving multiple deployment sites, device vendors, and communications media had never been done before. The USDOT's test will serve as an important milestone in the maturation of CV technologies for wide-scale deployment.